everyone, this is Laurie for BeckyHiggins.com and today I'm going to teach you all about Photoshop brushes. Now Photoshop brushes are so cool and I have a feeling that once you learn how to use these, you are going to love them. Photoshop brushes are a little bit like stamps in the physical world. You can stamp them down on your layouts, you can add them to backgrounds, you can add them to pictures. There are so many possibilities. So I already have my layout ready to go to add brushes too. I've already added my pictures and my cards and my background layer. I'm going to start by adding some stitching to this card over here on the left hand side and to do that with my move tool selected I'm going to just click down on the card and you will see over here in the layers palette that it will select my card. I'm going to then select my brush tool or you can use the hotkey command of B down here in our tool options we want to make sure that we just have the normal brush tool selected. Over here in our brush selector we're going to click on this little arrow over here and it's going to pop up this menu of brushes. We're going to click on this little down button over here and we're going to choose load brushes. Now in our navigation window over here we're going to go to the place where we have the brushes that we want to load. I'm going to be using the brushes from the Adventure Awaits edition and your brushes should come in this .abr file format. I'm going to select it, choose open, and now you will see in our brush selector it has loaded these brushes that we can select. I'm going to choose this stitching brush right here, so I'm going to double click on it. I can use this size slider to increase or decrease the size of my brush, or I can also use my bracket keys. If I want my brush to be bigger, I can use my right bracket key. If I want it to be smaller, I can use my left bracket key. For opacity, I want it to be at 100% opacity mode normal. Now to select my color I'm going to click on the foreground swatch and it'll bring up this color picker and I can use my eyedropper tool to sample colors from around my layout or I can type in a hex code if I have a specific color that I want to use. I'm going to actually sample a little bit of this lighter brown color out of this card and click OK. Over in the layers palette I still have my card layer selected and I want to make a brand new layer on top of it. So I'm going to come up here to this icon to create a new layer. And with that layer selected, I'm going to go over here to my card and I'm going to stamp down by just clicking down on my mouse. And it makes this nice little stitching. I'm going to do the same thing and add another row of stitching up here but I want that stamp to be on its own layer so that I can edit it as its own layer. And to do that, I'm going to come up here and make another layer on top and come back over here and stamp down. Now I can choose to refine the position of those layers now by choosing my move tool and I can click and drag or I can use my arrow keys to move them where I would like them to be. And now you can see that my stitching is over the top of my card and I want to add this to the card clipping mask so that it will stop right there at the edges. To do that, go over to the layers palette, select the first layer that has the stitching, hover on the line between the stitching and the card, and you're going to type the option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC until you get this arrow and you're going to click down. Now you will notice if we zoom in that my stitching now stops at the card. It doesn't overshoot it. I'm going to do the same thing with this layer up here. I'm just going to, going to add it to the same clipping mask. So select the top layer and hover between the two brush layers. Type the option key if you're on a Mac or the alt key on a PC until you get this arrow and then click down. Now I'm going to add another stamped image to this orange card down here. 
that I'm going to use as a date sticker. To do that, I'm going to go to the very top of my layers palette and click on the very top layer and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select my brush tool or type the letter B in my brush selector. I am going to choose this brush right here by double clicking on it. I am going to set my size by using my bracket keys. I'm going to make this just a tad bigger. My opacity is going to be 100%. I'm going to set my color by clicking on my foreground color swatch. I'm going to sample this dark brown color out of this picture and click OK. Now making sure that I have this brand new layer selected, I'm going to click down to stamp my image. Now I can select my move tool and I can click and move that into place or I can use my arrow keys to nudge it into place. Now I can add some text right on top of this to make a little date label. With my brush layer selected, I will choose my type tool or type the letter T. That's the hotkey command for the type tool. Make sure that we have the horizontal type tool selected. I'm going to use the Christina font. I'm going to change my color by clicking down on the color selector, clicking down on the color wheel, and I'm going to use pure white, so I'm going to change my hex code in here to six letter F's and click OK. My size is going to be 36 point. I'm going to create a cursor by clicking down and now I'm going to add the date. I will click the green check mark to commit. Now it switched me back over to my move tool automatically and I can click and move that into place. If I want to make it my type a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, all I have to do is click on one of these corner transform handles and I can drag in or out and then again click on the screen check mark to commit. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little swirl image to this card down here. I'm going to start by selecting my card and it will highlight it over here in this layers palette. I want to make a new layer on top of it. I'm going to select my brush tool or type the letter B. In my brush selector, I'm going to choose this swirly brush. Now with this brush, it's actually turned the direction, the wrong direction. I want the corner to be down here in this corner. So to change that, I can go into my brush settings down here and this little circle over here will allow you to change the direction of your brush. So I can click and drag it around and you will see that it starts to change the direction of how the brush is facing. So because I want it at that corner I can click it up to the 90 degree angle. You can also type in your numbers. I'm going to select my color by choosing my foreground color swatch. I'm going to use this dark brown color. Click OK. Now with our new layer selected over here, we're just going to click down to stamp the image. And then I can change to my move tool and use my arrows to nudge that into place. Now if I want to, if I want to make sure that those edges are contained into that clipping mask and aren't going to my background layer, I can add it to the clipping mask over here by hovering on the line between the brush and the card, typing the Option key if I'm on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC and click down. A fun thing that you can do with brushes is that you can adjust the opacity of a brush. You can make it so that it's full opacity so you're seeing all of the color or you can turn down the opacity so that you're seeing some of the design of the card behind it. So watch what happens when I turn down the opacity. You can start seeing see that design of that card behind. 
So all you have to do is make sure that that layer that your, your brush is stamped onto is selected in your layers palette and come up here into this opacity, click down on the arrow, and then you can adjust your slider till you get the look that you want. You can also add brushes to your pictures, and that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to add a couple of stamped images to this picture over here in the corner. I'm going to select my photo, and you will see over here in the layers palette that it is selected. I'm going to create a new layer, select the brush tool, or type the letter B, and my brush selector, I'm going to choose this love brush. I'm going to set my foreground color to white. So the hex code for that is six letter Fs and click OK. Now with my new layer selected, I can size my font how I want to. I'm going to increase it just a little bit by using my right bracket key. And I'm going to stamp down now I'm going to add one more brush to this picture, so I'm going to create another new layer in my layers palette. With my brush tool selected, I'm going to choose this arrow, double click on it. I want it to be white, so my foreground is already set to white. I'm going to increase the size of this arrow by typing my right bracket key. With my new layer in the layers palette selected, I'm going to click down. Now I'm going to switch over to my move tool. Now one thing you can do besides changing the opacity for a different look on your brush is to also use these blending modes up here at the top of your layers palette. So with your layer selected, you can go up here, click down, and it will give you all these different options that you can play around with. So if we use soft light, you can see that it gives you just this really light design. You can do overlay, which is a little bit darker, but it still allows some of that, that light to come through. And I'm going to do the same thing for this love brush. I'm going to change it to overlay and you will see that it just gives you a different look. One thing I want to mention is that as I was using the brushes on my layout, I was using brushes from one single set. If there are brushes from other sets that you don't have loaded yet, you will need to go through the loading process. Now just a reminder is how to do that is that you select your brush tool, and your brush selector, click down on it, and then the, in the upper right hand corner you're going to click down again and choose this low brushes command. Then you will navigate to where you have your other brush set that you would like to use and load that. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about brushes. Like I said before, I think they're so much fun and I can't wait to see what you create with them. If you have any questions, you can email us at digital at beckyhiggins.com.